Hi, this is Sherry Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com, and I've been making these pinwheels with my Cricut Imagine machine this morning. And I decided to make this uh, pinwheel bouquet. I have chosen a terracotta pot with an angel on the front. And what I have done so far, um, because my pinwheels were a little bit short, but I was able to find these uh, plastic pieces, these little plastic sticks that are for larger pinwheels. Um, I found those at a craft store and I didn't have all the pieces, so I couldn't use them by themselves. But I just slid the little uh, paper pinwheels. See if we can get one of these off. See how I did that? I just slid it on top of the plastic one and that gave me varying heights. I used some floral foam that is for dried or silk flowers in the bottom of this. And then I used a little bit of uh, buffalo snow to secure that foam exactly where I wanted it. Because even when I cut it down to size and I stuck the second piece right here, it was still wobbling in there. So I just used that to secure it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, preserved moss. And I'm just going to set this on here. And I am not gluing this. You could if you wanted, but I don't want to because I may want to reuse this pot for something else. And I wouldn't want the glue on the pot, um, especially if I was going to, say, plant some live flowers in here. So I'm just going to kind of stick that down like that. Now, I may end up having to put a little spot of glue up here on the foam, but we'll see how well it sets. I don't have a lot of traffic in my house, so I'm not worried about that. And this would be great for any kind of spring party, baby shower, um, even just a decoration for your home. I love pinwheels, and I just, I really like... This is a special uh, material that I did get that is made for using, or made for making pinwheels. So um, I found it in the scrapbooking section. And because I had wondered for years, you know, what was this plastic? And so I found some with the uh, pinwheel making kit, which was just the sticks in the top. I already had the pinwheel download for my Cricut. And so there we go. Now I have taken this bird that I used. Uh, I cut this out with my Cricut Imagine. So it, I put the coloring on it with the Cricut and everything. And I've used a dot of hot glue to glue this florist pick on. And all I'm going to do is slide it right there like that. And there you have it. I think that is really gorgeous and very springy, very easy to make. If you don't want to make your own pinwheels, you could always buy them and put them in. So thanks for watching and have a great day.